Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Gun Survivor. When we last left off, uh, we were making our way through the prisons, and we found some pretty horrific stuff has been going on here, especially uh, researching on children uh, to cut their brains, which um, is pretty fucking horrific when you think about it. But we managed to get our, our way through, and we were presented with two choices. We can go downstairs, or we can go through this door. Um, now, there's actually three choices, but that leads to one way, that leads to two ways. So, we're going to go this way first. We're going to go to the underground. Uh, it's actually quite hard to go underground. I don't know whether it's just my monitor being incredibly dark or what, but... Come on, there is, I, I promise you, there is a, a ladder here, so there we go, or some steps, I should say. They are actually here. Now, this is a pretty horrific room in here, because we're about to be in a world of trouble. Or at least we would be, if we weren't some badass, um, unknown dude, essentially, with a handgun, with infinite ammo. You know, because that's how we roll, I suppose. Now, I don't know how this chap can have unlimited ammo, and our friends Leon, Chris, and the Stars team don't, but we won't question it, video game logic and all. Uh, let's keep going. I don't think there's anything in these cells, actually. It's been a while since I've recorded this game. It's been uh, actually over a week. Yes, over a week, actually, yeah. Um, so, a little bit rusty, but uh, I think we'll... We'll get through. Now, this room's interesting. This room is very interesting. Because moths make a return. Yeah, we don't see those often in Resident Evil, do we? We can fight them, but we're probably just going to take damage. Um, needlessly, I would say. They're not that threatening, but they are way more aggressive than they were in Resident Evil 2. Well, at least that one moth that was uh, in Resident Evil 2, in the lab. Uh, anyway, there is a hole which a man could enter. I could go down there if I had a rope. Well, just so happens that we do have a rope. Now, this room is pretty nasty. Yeah, we have hunters. Hunters in this game are pretty horrific. You can stun lock them by shooting them in the head. It's not very reliable. It's really not very reliable, but it does work, more or less. There we go. But they will do that jump and get themselves out of your uh, range, which kind of sucks. Now, obviously, I suppose the preferred method of dispatching hunters would be the shotgun. And yeah, the shotgun is a lot better, but we'll try and save that where we can. This handgun, C? Isn't too bad. It really isn't. It kind of does the job. Um, you know, it's not going to win us any awards or anything, but uh, it's not bad in a pinch. Anyway, we will switch up to the shotgun now. Because we're not done with hunters. No siree. Now, these weapons are a bit more of a pain. These um, Anything that's not your standard handgun is a bit irritating. Because you can't reload them. And you don't want to be firing off your shots, because ammo for these is quite a lot more limited. But that's okay. We shall make do. We always make do, because that is what we do as a Resident Evil survivor. Now we have some more hunters in here. I'm going to shoot them in the brain. <laughs> hunters are a bit weird here. Like, you shoot them, and then they'll run back down that corridor and before returning. Two shotgun shells usually takes them out. I say usually because it's not an exact science. Mm. Coffee break. Okay, cool. Right, ready to rock. There is another one. Yeah, uh, very rarely do you see a hunter on its own, uh, I guess, in this game. Come on, you bastard. One. Oh, knocked him out. That was satisfying. Oh, is he going to take three? There we go. Yeah, he was a three. All right, that's fine. I guess some are built tougher than others. Let's whip out the old handgun C again. Okay. Oh, also, I got an email notification from Chris. 
you've just gifted me um the oh, what was it the castlevania advanced collection i literally just had the email about that before i started uh, on xbox thank you very much for that uh dude like seriously that's just, like literally just come out and you just gifted it to me on xbox um thanks dude i'm downloading it as we speak i've never really played the castlevania games so yeah yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into that thank you very very much for that you didn't have to do it that's that's ridiculously kind of you but thank you um yeah i've never played castlevanias um they have just announced like castlevania bloodlines coming to the switch and apparently that's a good one Ooh. now this is something i was a little bit curious about actually um, because when I came through here originally, when I was testing this, I thought there was three hunters in here, but there was only two. But we come through that door and this one spawned. Curious. Yeah, so Castlevania is a game that I really wanted to get into quite a bit. I did play a little bit of one that came out in the 360. It was all 3D and everybody said it was a load of old dog shit, but I thought it was okay. Uh, you know, I don't think I completed it, but... I enjoyed it. Anyway. Yeah, I, I always appreciate it when you guys give me games. Um, I know I can't always cover them because of time and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. You don't you don't have to do that, guys. But thank you very much. I do seriously, seriously appreciate it. Um, right. So, we've got Red Herb. Uh, for a channel as small as mine, I, I had no flex here or anything, but for a channel as small as mine, I get gifted a lot of games. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty overwhelming at times. Um, I, 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 always, I don't know what to say. Thank you. That's very kind. Okay, so let's keep moving on. Ooh, this room's a little bit different. <laughs> Die, Vincent! Yeah, that's the goblin man following us again. Uh, that dude follow us as follow us as is as, as, yeah yeah that makes sense. That dude's been following literally right behind us quite a lot. Uh, okay, so what devious plan has this dude set up this time? Uh, let's be a little bit preemptive here and chow down a herb just in case oh hi hello there uh yeah that's bad that's really bad he is not actually as strong and as tough and as nasty as he looks but wait there's more there is a second one now, we're not going to worry too much about him if we can help it. Because, as we know in this game, if an enemy is behind you, they don't really attack you. So, also, these guys really struggle to hit you at the best of times. Now, whilst he's behind me and we're invincible, let's have a bit of a quick, cheeky reload. Hey, friend. You seem to be struggling there a bit. Seems to be distracted by his dead friend. Maybe it's his brother, his mother, his dad. Who knows? Maybe they were rivals. This is why he's taking a cheeky nibble on the way past. But yeah, as you can see, they, he really is not much of a threat. And, uh, I, well, I, uh, that's it, really. Um, all that fuss, song and dance for nothing. Um, yeah. Kind of was expecting a little bit more from these things, to be honest, but okay. I mean, you can see, like, there's such a huge graphical downgrade, even in the uh, models, even from Resident Evil 2. This game came out in 2000, but, you know, it really didn't get much of a budget at all. Um, I think they just wanted to, you know, spit something out whilst they were working on Code Veronica. Didn't, wait, didn't Code Veronica come out? Umbrella. In 2000? Or was that so 2001? This is where the city is controlled from. I think it was 2001. Oh. 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 What's happening to me? 
You alright, Vincent? You having a bit of a moment there, buddy? There we go. Back in the land of the living. Well, I mean, that's that's questionable, but there we go. Ostrich beer, eh? Number one quality of the world. Number one quality of the world of... Wait. Number one quality of the world beer. Right. Sounds like some knockoff cider I brought a few, um, quite a few months ago now. Uh, <laughs> that was, yeah, pretty bad. Like, very bad. It actually tasted okay, but I think it's alcohol content of something like, uh, 2% or something. I can't remember what it was. I did actually put that in the Discord, I think. Um, yeah, very, very disappointing stuff. And I'm glad that that is a burning mess. Anyway, so this is where our next story uh, mission convulges. Uh, if we went underground, we'd come through there. If we went through the um, nightclub, we'd come out there. And if we came through the storage facility, we'd come out there. So, I think it's only fair. We go back and take a, take a cheeky look at these other... Locations. I just looked at my recording time and it said zero 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 zero, and I just had a mini, a mini stroke. I think. Jesus Christ! Don't do that to me, computer. Um, okay, so that's the way down uh, that we've just been, but we want to go through here. This area is a little bit weird. There's a little bit of randomness involved with the enemies, so we're going to see what the dice rolls uh, end up for us. Yeah, I am going to build myself an actual dedicated capture computer. Um, I've been given kind of like a load of PC cases and stuff and a power supply, so... Oh, we got dogs. Right. Yeah, see, the, the, that was the dice roll that we got. You can either get dogs out here or you can get hunters. That door is pointless. It just leads us back in through the um, uh, prison facility. But obviously, we don't need to go back through there. And dogs are behind us, which means we're invincible. So, we're not going to worry. So, I think... Should we do the nightclub or should we do the rooftops? Uh, there isn't a huge amount of difference. Um, let's go, eh, we'll figure it out, let's go. Okay, so we have to use the rope there to go down, and as soon as we come down, there is an old friend waiting for us. Evening, dude. Can we shoot straight, please? Thank you. Yes, we have a nice, fat, juicy T-03 waiting for us, but that's okay, because he's miles away. And we have infinite bullets, so I guess he really did stumble across into the wrong alley, didn't he? Come on, boy. Down you go. That's it. Now, I'm not sure what sort of um, tyrant class they are. I know they're T-103s, but I, I don't know if he's dead or if he's going to get back up again. I, I'm not sure how high quality these dudes are, so... Anyway, he's dead. We, he's given us some shotgun uh, bullets. Now, this is the second split. So we can go up here to the rooftops, or we can go down here uh, to the night... Is that down there? Or is that to the nightclub? I think that's the nightclub. Yeah, that's the nightclub back entrance there. So let's go up to the rooftops. Let's have a little look. Poke around. See what kind of skyline we're working with in this wonderful city. Now, this place is literally full of special forces. I guess Umbrella didn't want to use Carlos's team again. Um, yeah, those cleaners, they're, uh, well, kind of a joke, really. But listen, listen to the ambience. Should be able to hear that. Does sound like the cleaners are really cleaning up. Anyway, we've got herb here, so let's go stuff that into our pockets. And uh, meanwhile, I suppose you can't really see. Open 24-7, written in reverse there. Uh, I guess you can't really see what's going on down here. Or see much of the city at all. Because, you know, it's dark. I mean, the actual reason would be because it's a very low-budget PS1 game. Come on. Like, what is it, two megabytes of RAM that system had? Which, being a console, that's split between video RAM and 
system memory, which is pretty crazy. Now down, now this is interesting, right? Down here, uh, we have flame rounds, right? Flame rounds are going to be pretty good in the future. So we've already taken our choice, and we can't go back. So if you want to go to the nightclub and get some of the goodies in the nightclub, and get these flame rounds as well, forget it. The game doesn't actually let you do it. Uh, which is, uh, you know, I mean, it's a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. See, there's no need to go back. Oh, but I differ. I beg to differ, Vincent. There's goodies back there. But I digress. So we've, we've set ourselves along our course. And Vincent, well, if that is your real name, Vincent, which, let's be fair, we all know it isn't. Um... I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> I've been working pretty hard these last few days. Okay. Oh, yes. Hello, friendos. Got another load of cleaners in here waiting for us. And they actually killed us. Well, that's embarrassing. I actually blame that on myself as well. I literally just had, like, a brain fart of the highest order. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ha hey, I'm getting old, man. Okay, and, and fuck me, 35. I never thought I'd see this long, to be honest, but here we are. Right, one second, guys. I'll get us back to where we were. Right, let's try this again without being uh, quite as useless this time, shall we? I say that with air quotations. You know. Yeah, as you can see, if that guy didn't turn up, and like knock out, knock. Really? You just got wiped out again? Jeez, dude. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Without being quite so useless this time. Run! All right, let's uh, try and be a little bit tactical. Get the fuck out of here. And you. Now, I don't know, actually, thinking about it. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how do we aim at these guys? I forgot about using the uh, bumper. There we go. Now, we can get some shotgun shells here. And we will. Thank you. <laughs> also, <coughs> God, i got a weird throat today. Also, um, the items that the enemy T-103s drop is random. I mean, it's always ammo think <laughs> but um yeah you you get random ammo from them it's not always the same thing you might get grenade ammo you might get shotgun shells you won't get handgun ammo because you know we got pockets full of that somehow from and Earth. that leads us back here so this is where the city is controlled from To me. Not having a good time, are you, fella? No. No, you're not. Right. Okay, so here we are. So, obviously, there's the sewer entrance there that we would have come out of previously. But, and we have the red herb here, too. But, uh, let's go and try the nightclub, shall we? So, to get to the nightclub, we can just run on through here. And it is it is kind of frustrating that we can't just go up there, grab the flame ammo, and come back here. But, alas, no. The nightclub is a bit of a stretch, if you ask me. But, hey, I guess things are different in other countries. Hey, friend. And, of course, straight off the bat, we've got Mr. Iron Bollock himself breathing down our necks. Now, we can actually... Try and take this guy out to get some goodies, which I guess we may as well. I mean, there's a lot of stuff around here to block his path. So, and as long as we keep him behind us, he's not really that much of a threat, really. Yeah, for a tyrant, these guys are, are pretty lame. But, hey. I guess they make us feel powerful, don't they? Only two rounds left in the mag. That's no good. Well, that's fine. He's gone. 
Sit down, you useless bastard. Wow, there's some <coughs> questionable art here, I suppose. Well, calling it art's a bit of a stretch, I guess. Shotgun shells, yes, please. We will absolutely take them. Anything in these? I mean, oh, God, we're like going through it. I doubt it. This emulator's been updated as well with like a shit ton of fixes and improvements. Uh, I, I didn't really read the change log, so I'm not sure what they do. But uh, it's nice to see this emulator still getting almost, you know, monthly updates. Right, let's go. Emulation is the way forward for game preservation. It just is. So here we are. It look it doesn't look like a nightclub to me at all. Heaven's night. It looks like a really shitty kind of bar, I guess. Right, let's go grab this herb. Because yum yum. Green herbs. Yeah, I mean look, it's just like a a, a drum kit and a microphone stand uh, some amps there I guess they were going for a martial look um, yeah nothing really spectacular and that's it as well that's it that's the saddest bar I've seen but hey you know umbrella has uh, other priorities I suppose let's go through this door Hmm, what is this? VIP members card. Okay. I like the way the VIP members card is actually in the VIP room. I find something quite amusing about that. Uh, we're on caution. Let's actually fix that. Just because. Are we We're still on caution? Or did we not take it? There we go. Okay, not really sure what happened there. Right, anyway, well, we'll grab that. Uh, but, oh no! As soon as we grab that, we get another T-103 breathing down our neck. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of these guys. But, you know, I think that's what makes this place worth coming. Because, of course, we get all these extra goodies. Even if he is going to just punch us in the face once. But we can take it like a champion, so it's all good. We've got some more shotgun shells. That's fine. Uh, I would have liked to get some more uh, bigger rounds. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So we have our card. Let's go back down into the uh, nightclub that can fit about six people in it. Uh-oh. Guess who's back? Back again. Dickhead's back. Right. There we go. We just, like, completely destroyed this guy. Because these guys always drop us goodies. It's so nice of Umbrella to just gift us all this ammo. Very nice. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. Ooh. Just down to one round there. What have you got? Oh, flame rounds. Uh, yeah, we'll take them. Why not? I guess. Okay, I think that was worth the price of a herb. Two shotgun um, shells. Uh, well, two boxes of shotgun shells and some flame rounds. What does that bring us up to now? We've got six flame rounds, got six grenade rounds. Yeah, because that's what I got off the tyrant on this particular run. And we're up to 24 plus 8. So we've got 32 shotgun shells. Not too bad. You know. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Not too bad at all. And let's go. And here we are. Back outside the umbrella headquarters. So this is where the city is controlled from. What's happening to me? 
so uh, we're on like 26 minutes here so we don't really have time to push on forwards so we're gonna call this a video here we've uh, got quite a lot of stuff done actually so that, there's only one more choice left in the game um, I think yeah yeah and that's not for um, a little while anyway we have to go through here first and to be honest this is it's not a huge section but it's well it's probably comparable to the last three choices we made at least so i'm going to call this one here guys thank you very much for watching as always i'll catch you in the next part